have a new friend to help us sing today. So our very first song is brand new and it's all about praising Jesus. So everyone get up on your feet and dance and follow me for the motions. Hmm. Maybe Miss Katie can help us. Hi, 
everyone. It's so good to see you today. Well, we're going to be talking about something really special. Can I give you a clue? It's money. That's right. You know, we use money for lots of different things. We use money to buy clothes or buy food. We also use our money to give back to God. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to talk about how to use our money wisely and how to make sure that we put God first. In the book of Luke, chapter 16, Jesus tells us a parable. Now remember, a parable is a story with a special meaning. There once was a rich man who had a lot of workers working for him. One of his workers was in charge of his businesses, but he didn't do a very good job. In fact, the rich man called that worker in and said, you're going to lose your job because you haven't been doing what is right. He knew he was going to need to make some new friends quickly, friends that would help him when he lost his job. So he called all these people together who owed his boss money, and he told them they didn't have to pay it all back. And in fact, for one person, he cut his bill in half, and that made the people so happy. Now the worker had a lot of friends that he can go to when he loses his job. After Jesus finished telling this parable, he told them that if you can be trusted with the little things, you can be trusted with the big things. We can trust God to do what he says he will do because God is trustworthy. And God wants us to be trustworthy too. But what does it mean to be trustworthy? That's a pretty big word. Well, trustworthy means to do what you say you will do. To do what you say you will do. Can you stand up and do that with me? Okay, stand up. To do what you say you will do. Let's do it together one more time. To do what you say you will do. Good job. Okay, you can have a seat. So how can you do what you say you're going to do this week? Well, if your mom or dad ask you to pick up toys and you say, yes, I will do that right away, show them that you're trustworthy by picking them up right away. Do what you say you will do. This week, let's work on being trustworthy to do what we say we will do. But you know what? How about let's ask God to help us be trustworthy this week. Can we get ready to pray? Okay, let's get our hands ready. Okay, you ready? Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Fold them in your lap. Okay, let's close our eyes and let's talk to God. God, thank you for being trustworthy. Please help us to be trustworthy this week. Help us to do what we say we will do. We love you, God. Amen. Let's go see if Leo is showing himself to be trustworthy. I'll see you next time. Hey, Will, look. Wow, you fixed it. Well, I was the one who broke it. It was my fault, and I should have taken care of it in the first place. Emma will be so happy to get her favorite mug back. You know what? Do you still want to borrow my bike? I promise I'll take really good care of it. You can trust me.